Okay, so I just got a bunch of really cool things that I ordered from, so I'm gonna try on uh, the jeans I ordered. I'm excited. Guys, do you see this? Let me just tuck this in so you can see what is making me freak out right now. Ugh. I'm gonna have to readjust this mirror because it's like totally obscuring all of my own. Um... All right, there you go. But like, do you? Oh my God, do you see this? <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's not, it's not gapping. <sighs> okay, yeah. All right, we need to we need to fold these sleeves. Fold these sleeves back. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Is this y'all know the sit down test? Oh my gosh. Nothing. Nothing. Pit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. What? What? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Like, do you see this? Like. Oh my gosh. Like. At this point, the belt will just be for looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to take a photo so that you can like just see it all like together and just kind of make this not flop so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys, y'all, I'm crouching. Oh my God, I'm so like... Oh my goodness. Oh, the thrill of a pair of jeans. And the thing is, even though they're they're not like, look at this, like they're pretty good lengthwise on me. You know, let's see. I really just get like the slightest little break there, which, oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's just check the closet. Maybe I'll put that on. Not the boots. Um, Let's try it with the heels. I know there are some cultures where like showing the bottom of your shoes is technically like disrespectful, but like <laughs> no offense intended. Oh my, oh my gosh. Do you see this? Do you see this? Just make sure I don't have anything on the, okay. Also don't judge any scuffs. All of the shoes currently have to go to the cobbler to get a little bit of retouching on them. Do you oh. oh my gosh, okay, hold on. I need to like make more runway. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. Okay. That is my beautiful uh secret Santa gift, so I've had it for a few years. But oh my gosh, do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my gosh, my, my legs feel like they're 10,000 miles long, but like, it also just actually fits. You guys, I am so serious. When I tell you, I am excited AF about the way that these... This is why I am a devotee of Joe's. These are the honey fit. The honey fit is their curvy fit. And it just means I feel like things don't feel as constricted around the butt and the hips, but you also get more like definition um, if you need it. Um, when I am technically a juicier look, it shows up more, but also 
when I'm in the leaner stages, it's like, ugh, it's just, it works. Oh my gosh. a slightly straighter leg the other one was more of a flare leg this is like straight with like a slight flare look at this look at this okay so gosh I was like a mid-rise person all the way and now I'm like I get it I see it I get it fully extended like this. Let's see it with the heels on. <sighs> yes. Hello. Do you see this? And this is the brand. I have it embroidered into the um, waistband. Oof. It's getting hotter. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is cool. I'm here for this. And everything is so, like, I don't think I need to get anything hemmed because the length is not too much as far as like where it hits on my foot even without the uh, even without being hemmed and again if I'm usually a little juicier we have some gaps that we have to worry about but I gotta say this one it has a little bit of gapping a little bit there you know, just, but because it's such a high waisted situation, it really, and just so you know, like this is, this is where this reaches properly extended on me. Again, I'm 5'8ish, so that does make a difference with the tailoring and things like that, obviously, but. No, we're just gonna keep this folded. Yeah. Including my whole hand into a pocket, so that's nice. And the back pockets are, let's do it this way so you get the light. Eh. But it was really putting much back there. So, let me move this before I trip. This, this works. I don't know if you can see how shiny but like, it is way too hot right now. So we're just gonna try and okay, so just literally one of those clips you use on wash day. <laughs> okay. Pairing it with, honestly, y'all, this is just an actual PJ top. This is not like any kind of thing. It's also from Favorite Daughter. And as I attempt to tuck in any of this, or should I just like, all right. Okay, so this is, you know, just 
This one's got the slits in the leg and an unfinished hem that does come like this, so it's not too surprising. I will say though, it does have a pretty strong smell out of the package and I was pretty convinced that the, oh, I forgot to get that away. I was pretty convinced that the, um, the package had been opened before and returned. Um, but I don't see any evidence of like wear at all. But it is pretty, um, yeah, I mean, it's the same fit as the other one. It's the Valentina cut, um, except yeah, these have the raw hem and it's just way too hot to be tucking things and having like multiple layers anywhere. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna have to like bow tie this, this, this shirt. All right. Don't ask me how I did it, but I managed to get these three things buttoned and technically do this but it's like bow tie-ish style like whatever and so it actually stays when you fold it up but yeah okay so right. okay so this is this is oh i like it it's paler i almost feel like i'm like representing a different decade or something with this look right now, but I'm also really appreciating how the plackets are managing to actually just kind of line up. But anyway, yeah, very cool. Love these. They make these pants infinitely, literally cooler as far as like temperature, like there's a little bit of air that goes up the leg and cooler in the sense of like they just look cuter. All right, so the, these, I would definitely do with this or this. So we're gonna try them with the boots and with um, the heels. Okay, come on. Come on, shoe. All right, let's scoop our little friend. do a little bit of a that's just cool like as you walk that just looks epic what it looks like with the boots on. <laughs> okay, I'm the type of person who will put on some jeans and then like not buckle them. And I think that would probably be a problem here. So not jeans, sorry, boots. I'm the kind of person who will put on some boots and then like leave them undone just because of laziness. But given that we want to see how the slits look, I will zip them up. 
for you. Also, the toe of these boots is a little grungy. Um, there were crystals on it. They have like, they're in the process of falling off, but I actually don't mind that it looks super grungy. So I hope you don't either. Okay. Oh yeah. This is a whole other look. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is a whole other look. Like it feels like it's touching into a few different aesthetics while still being somehow like refined and not too grunge, not too, but I just, I love a pair of light jeans and some dark like lug um, boots. You know, it's not really like a goth thing, but honestly, I love that. That's one of the things I really love about, about um, goth styling when they have like super heavy boots and then like some kind of pant that's like really giving a lot of play around the foot with like the, de the detailing, like a little flare parachute pant, balloon pant, like. I always thought that looked really cool, so. Yeah, I love these. I love it with the boots. Let me tuck them and see how that, what that experience is. Since they are kind of split on the side like this, right? They're split like this. They're split like this. Let's try and, yeah, let's tuck them. Mm. Okay, now I'll do the... Oh, there we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to kind of be in there. Okay. Is it this? Y'all, I gotta get my cardio up. Just for stamina. Cause how in the world <laughs> is stuffing these uh, jeans into these boots like making me feel like I gotta breathe deep or something? Hold on. All right, so it actually made tucking a lot easier and I know that because when I have tried this one-handed before it actually took a lot longer okay so now I can kind of pull this up and out and then kind of so now kind of okay okay now I just feel like I need to repair someone's car I don't know but I love it anyway. Yep. So, a little bit of it peeks through the top. But this goes, my ankles are about here. My ankle bone is, it goes down here. This is my ankle bone. And so this is kind of where my, what is this, shin, calf, whatever this area begins. Not bad. Mm -hmm. um, these I got made by a boot maker. I had them customize it with um, lug style um, grip. And then again, at one point it did have like a whole ton of crystals on it, but it's just slowly been kind of disintegrating. Like there was crystals here and everything, but I don't know. I kind of think the K looks a little cool. Um, and so like, unlike the heels, which I will have like, cob like a, a cobbler, fix I kind of don't mind if these boots get a little bit more scuffed um, you can tell that these are usually out of the way because look how much shinier and darker this is compared to down here yeah but the treads are awesome I've worn this in all kinds of weather and I see I see stuff so the the leather was good um, 
it's just it was just this part that didn't work out but that's what happens when you experiment right when you say hey let's make something that you don't normally make and um and uh yeah <laughs> now i know that i would totally do something different live in your There's barely a gap, like there's barely any, like there's really, it's not even really gap, it's just like I mean, you see it, there's barely any, so My mouth that juicy at this point There's so much stretch happening Even though these jeans when I first put them on were stiff, I know one of the reviews uh, a few of the reviewers said that after a while of wearing it, it really softens up and it molds to your body and even just all the getting up and getting back down. So I'm kind of already warm. I can feel this softening up so much. So, um, yeah, they, they didn't lie. Um, okay. One more pair and those are some skinnies from Citizens of Humanity. So we'll try those. Girl, why do you keep forgetting that this is not heavy? I should add some like rocks to it or something. Okay, we're just gonna tuck this because we don't have the energy to be figuring out exactly what to be doing here. Okay. Let's look at the legs. So yeah, these are um, some high-res skinnies. I'll be honest, I just, I don't think tucking skinnies like where they're only um, it has a slight, it has a slight, um, like, the hem goes just at the ankle. Um, I feel like these always look better with the shirt out. I'm just going to be honest. And, I mean, we can definitely see what they look like with heels on. But, let's be real. Like, these, these are for this. Higher skinnies are for you to do this. Like, skinnies have become the new, like average pant like the dress pant is now the dress jean is now like the the boot cut or the flare or the wide leg i do not have a pair of sneakers here also y'all do, does anyone else not have the ability to handle um like supergas keds um just generally flat that flat sole that doesn't have much bend because I, for some reason, it just hurts the ball of my foot. I haven't found one that where the toe is flexible enough that it actually makes uh, wearing it pleasant. I would need like a much thinner sole. Um, so in the end, it, it still has to look like a, run, like a running shoe, so, okay. Oh, come on. That's what happens when your feet and the leather get warm over time. But yeah, so I think like these pockets are kind of, they're tight. They're not really meant to be functional, obviously. Um, the waist is pretty, it's pretty high. Um, I would say compared to the previous pairs, this is the Citizens of Humanity sculpt, and you can kind of see it in the way that it holds right over the muscle groups of the leg. Um, but I think it's nice. Again, though, honestly, for me, I would wear it like, okay, let's see, super cash, just like, I wouldn't even wear it with this. Let me show you what I'd wear with. Well, one, if it's a super casual day, but I still want to look kind of refined, I would... Like, I would have tucked this in, honestly. So let's just do this. I would wear it like this. So you just get a very sleek silhouette. 
If I was wearing it with sneakers, this would obviously be all the way out and I would just not whatsoever care and I'd be way flatter uh, height-wise, shorter height-wise. Um, and if I wanted to look just a little bit like I tried, here's what I would do. I would wear some kind of button down. This is kind of silky feeling. I would usually have a cardigan, not just a bra. I don't like uh, one like silky shirts. I just depends on the silkiness. This is affordable silkiness. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So this would get a cardigan. Um, but if I got something from like Everling or Lily Silk or there's another one, y'all. Um, Silk Maison. Uh, then I would be doing that. So I'd wear some kind of button down like this or sorry y'all so you have a nice long kind of fold it goes well into the um cuff so you take that over you see my fingers i tuck that over so then essentially all the red cuff is now hidden i would wear um, a white cotton shirt and in this case like this shirt is poplin and the key with poplin if any of y'all have um, had the pleasure or misfortune of wearing it is it's one of the I think less breathable cottons so for me this these bottom buttons will never be buttoned it is basically just a three button placket so I can just kind of move it around, tuck it in, and like, let's be honest, this this isn't happening. The heels, <sighs> the heels aren't happening. This is a much more casual look. And honestly, like, all the better. Again, poplin's very stiff. I know a lot of like men's shirts get made of it. And I'm always like, how do they survive summer? Because it is not a light weight. I guess it just doesn't breathe well. Linen would be better. Regular cotton would be better. But yeah, this is the one I had on hand, so. So there you go. That's how that's. Yep. Oops. Overall, I think it was a successful trip. And by trip, I mean series of clicks online. These guys. These guys. Different things become the norm, different stylings. And I gotta say that there's like. Skinnies went from being the sleek alternative to mom jeans and, you know, played out bell bottoms to now it's like skinnies are like not as in and now it's like you gotta enjoy the mom jeans and the wide leg, like variety, mix it up. And I'll be honest, I actually like both. I have a pair of um, Joe's jeans that I've kept from while I was in college, freshman year of college, I believe and um basically i yeah i've kept them because i always liked them i love the way they made my bottom look and i just thought they were really complimentary and the quality was great um the leather was leather excuse me the cotton was really dense um and it had just enough stretch uh and i was like no you're not going to get me to give up these uh jeans and so i've kept them and uh, it's so funny, I kept them long enough that like I can wear them again, but you'll know they're different. Let me show you. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Yeah, these are the jeans that I've had. These were my first, I think, like really wonderful pair of jeans. I know I had other designer jeans but like this was when i was like oh i've made it like i'm i'm in but do you see this logo do you see this logo this was when they were still doing like the full leather everything 
Joe's jeans, JJ. And I was like, I was just in love. And they were still doing like all kinds of cool stitching on the back pocket. And these are so soft now. It just, it's like, it's like, it's like a sheet. It's so soft. Um, but you know, you had the buttons, you had the, just, it was just, these jeans were everything. I lived in them and I just, I just loved them. I, I really did. And I think, I don't know, were these the ones that had the, no, they didn't have the like cool tag, but let me tell you just how, how much like, <laughs> I'm literally explaining a pair of jeans I've kept for over a decade. This is crazy. All right, let's go. There was a bit of a um, battery situation, so I stopped, got a lollipop, which will be explained in the mini bar episode. Ooh. All right, let's go back to these jeans. So yeah, they've been with me through everything. I just loved all the leather. Like, it, it just quality. I mean, it survived. And, and the hem, I think I was talking about the hem. This was like super long. And so I had them, I was like, let's keep the original hem, but then cut it here so that, you know, I would um, have something really neat and pristine. And I got to say, those tailors did a brilliant job because you almost, you can't see it. Like, you can still see this, the original yellow thread. But there's actually a fold right here, a perfect tuck. So those were the jeans and a little bit of how I styled them. Um, I think I could do one better and potentially show uh, how I accessorize. So, shall we? <laughs> this just keeps going, doesn't it? Okay, well, hopefully the lighting conditions aren't uh, too, too stark, but I had to turn on um, the overheads as it was just getting too dim. So I'm gonna show you how I accessorize this really casual outfit. Um, some of it you'll have seen, you'll know. I have things I wear every day, my jewelry, daily drivers. Um, but yeah, all right. If I'm wearing this and it's a casual day and I'm running around and I'm in poplin and not like linen or anything light, I need something to get this off my neck, the hair off my neck, right? So. I'll do that, or I'll use a scrunchie, a silky scrunchie. All right. Okay. So now you can see we've got we've got our dramatic rock and roll edges, and our hair just down here. But at least it's off the neck, the sides of the neck, and. Got a piece of really fun costume jewelry. I think I might've gotten this at like a, one of those stores that has like a bunch of different things like princess something or whatever. But um, I just thought it looked really nice. Um, I've had this for a long time, haven't really worn it. And that is why even though um, it's silver, you have a little bit of tarnish, but not a whole lot going on. For jewelry, we have a gold bracelet. I got this from a designer named Dana Junam on Etsy. Um, I got this also while in college, so this is also over like a decade. And yes, the silvers, the metals are different. I don't generally mix silver and gold. So most of my jewelry is gold, but I honestly don't think that the color of the jewelry should stop you if you like wearing it. And so the next we have, next we're looking at what to do for shoes. Now, as far as earrings, I typically will wear like a post. I'll wear either pearl earrings or um, little diamond posts. Um, diamond posts. All right, y'all, I'm not crazy. I'm not out here um, trying to get diamonds at that size. I mean, unless you have a car worth to buy diamonds at the size that I wear my studs. So shoes, my casual shoe, as y'all know, is usually some kind of loafer, and Gazelle has been the brand for a minute. But I also have um, pairs from other brands too, like Njemi and um, Cole Haan. In fact, I have another pair of Cole Haans that I've also had since college. As you can tell, I don't just uh, get them and toss them. All right. 
you get a good pair, you just need to repair. <laughs> they, uh, they're very soft, very easy to walk in. Um, it's Napa leather, which is just a really soft, um, it's very, very soft on the foot. So even like day one, you feel almost like you've broken them in. So that's pretty good. So that's what I'll do. That's what I'll um, wear. You know, maybe if it's something super formal, you'll see me tuck, like try to tuck this in. But let's be honest, again, this is poplin. It's a hot shirt. It's usually a day in like the summer when I don't really care. Maybe I'm going somewhere that's like, you know, I've got like a bathing suit underneath it. I don't really care. So it's not that deep. But yeah, this is the look. So these are the hands. I've got my everyday. Um, and then I've got sometimes a funky extra um, bit of costume. I think honestly, sometimes you just need a nice statement piece. So I have a few um, statement rings that I like to bust out. And given that the whole outfit is kind of going for lights and darks, I figure, you see that? Like, it just kind of, it's fun. And then when you add all of that, it, it just, I don't know, it just somehow it works. But this is how I accessorize when I go out. So um, I'll then carry my purse and, um, you know, it's really comfortable and sturdy and it holds everything. Um, and I really, what I really love about this is uh, the texture. So this is um, an exotic and uh, yeah, so I'd wear this and this would be me like going out for whatever. Yeah, not too complicated. Be sure to subscribe check out the next video and also follow me on the socials official lauren brown pretty much everywhere but it's real lauren brown on twitter and i will see you in the next video you're about to watch right now Bye.